Hi, this is Dr. Todd Rowe presenting tips on using the homeopathic remedy Calcarea sulfurica or calcium sulfate. Before I begin, I'd just like to say that nothing in this material is meant to diagnose, cure, prescribe, or treat any illness. Please consult your homeopathic practitioner for treatment options. This is calcium sulfate, also known as gypsum, although it comes in a variety of forms. Also known as selenite or alabaster. It's a sedimentary rock formed by the evaporation of water and is quite water soluble, highly absorbs water. It's used in making casts and plaster of Paris and uh, supporting joints. It's also used in wall boarding, wall plasters, and as cement. Historically, people who've been exposed to this in large quantities have developed al allergies, eye problems, throat problems, hoarseness, impaired smell and taste, and nosebleeds. Um, also, historically, calcium sulfate has been used as a healing rock uh, in crystal healing, said to uh, assist in becoming younger and um, supporting youth. Now, in homeopathy, we use this remedy for a variety of acute conditions, including abscesses, croup, impetigo, breast infections like mastitis, ear infections like otitis media, scoliosis, sinusitis, and wounds, particularly ones that are fairly pussy. The mental state of people who need this remedy is that they often feel unappreciated or forsaken. Particularly in children, they can be quite quarrelsome and irritable. It's one of our main remedies for jealousy in children. They also can be absent-minded and brood over imagined misfortunes. Another problem is they can have sleeplessness um, and brood at night about horrible things. And they often feel better around 6 p.m. As I mentioned, it's one of our main remedies for abscess formation and pussy wounds, particularly when there is a yellow-like discharge from the wound. You can also use this, for example, for boils. There is a tendency towards slow wound healing in calcarea sulfurica, and also a tendency towards enlarged glands. They can have night sweats, craving for salt, and generally they are hot and worse from heat. Calcarea sulfurica uh, typically is quite restless. Um, the heat is oftentimes worse at 11 a.m. Um, and generally they are also calcarea sulfurica worse standing and bathing, um, not eating, and oversleeping. It's a remedy that tends to be quite sensitive to odors. And there's a strong need for open air, and there can be problems with hot flushes that start in the chest. Calcarea sulfurica can treat headaches, particularly ones that are pulsating and better by pressure. Also, ear infections that are associated with chronic nasal allergies. Typically, the nasal discharge is worse on the right side. There also is often a lot of skin eruptions pertaining to the scalp with calcarea sulfurica. There can be vertigo or dizziness worse in the morning on getting up. Also choking with the sensation of a plug in the throat. It's one of our main remedies for croup uh, that's better by uncovering. Um, and worse in the morning. There can be 
chilliness also in this remedy, although it's generally hot, uh, with distension of the abdomen after eating. And there can be burning and itching in the soles of the feet. Uh, conjunctivitis, eye infections, and cracking of the skin worse washing. Probably the main remedy to compare this to is Hepar sulfurous, which also has a tendency towards pus formation. Silica is another important comparison. The element, the element sulfur, and calcarea carbonica or calcium carbonate. You can learn more um, about homeopathy through some of our other programs. We have an introduction to homeopathy online program, which is 40 hours. And you can find that at acutecare at amcfh.org. We also offer a variety of self-help programs that are four to six hours on a variety of conditions. And you can find those at selfhelp at amcfh.org. Also, if you'd like to order this particular homeopathic remedy, you can reach us at orders at amcfh.org. Thank you very much.